Morning, everyone. Hi, morning. Good. So we're here to do your exercise session with you. So my name is Matt. I'm the exercise instructor. And I'm Jodie, one of the cardiac nurses. And we're from the West Hub Community Cardiac Rehab Team. And as I said, we're here to do your exercise session with you today. So two versions of the program we're going to do. Jodie's going to do a seated version of the program. I'm going to do the assisted standing using a chair. All right. So just make sure whoever's keeping you within your comfortable limits, you follow them. So if you want to do a seated version, you're more than welcome to. If you want to do the standing version, you can. We're going to do a 10 minute warm up, we're going to do a 10 minute conditioning phase, we're going to have a 10 minute cool down. Uh, during the conditioning phase, we're going to do some aerobic exercise, getting those heart rates up, and then a little bit of active recovery. If you find it's easier to do the active recovery while seated, then obviously follow Jody. But as we go through the program, if you find it's getting a little bit too much, you can switch to the seated version. And if you find things nice and easy, you can switch to the standing version. Just remember to follow whoever's keeping you within your comfortable limits. When we're doing the uh, resistance exercise, we're going to use some weights, all right? So I've got some fancy dumbbells. Joe just got some bottles of water down by our side. But just to demonstrate, a 500 ml bottle of water is about 500 grams, okay, half a kilo. And a litre bottle is about a kilogram, all right? So I'll give you an idea. You don't have to use weights for the exercise, but it gives you a little bit, all right, just to help strengthen those muscles a bit more. Good. So before we get going, um, those of you that have done the session, with us before and you'll know that the checklist is within the description for this video so just check check below on the screen and um, similarly for those of you that are in our program you've got, got the checklist within your patient booklets as well so we always suggest that you have those to hand during the session and um, one because it's got the checklist in it and also it's got the bulk scale that's on, on, on the air wall behind us so and um, you can refer to that throughout but just before we get going just make sure that you've read through that checklist that you're happy that you've not got any concerns or um, any queries regarding anything and um, any changes since last week um, and we do have a nurse on triage, so if you have got any queries or any concerns, then please do by all means give us a call on that number that you have for us in, in your patient booklets. Before we get going, just make sure also that you have a glass of water to one side, and um, just because it's really important that you keep hydrated throughout the session. It is another warm day as well, so just make sure that you've got that, that to hand. Um, and similarly, make sure that the room's nicely vented as well, so um, making sure that you've got a little bit of a breeze as well, because we'll get, get hot over we go through the session. <laughs> Last of all, just make sure that you've got some good good footwear as well, um, some um, just, uh, rubber soled shoes if you can, and um, something that sticks in place and that. So I know we're, we're exercising at home, but it is important that you've got some good decent footwear on as well, and um, just to protect your feet as we do, do the exercises, because there'll be a lot of walking and marching on the spot. Good, so just having to think about that ball scale as Jodie mentioned, all right, for the warm up, we want to bring it up the gears nice and gradually up towards that light level, okay, so taking over that first 10 minutes. Maintaining around that light is somewhat hard, that wish is where you should be able to carry that conversation at that point, but knowing you're doing something, your breathing should be up slightly. And then as we come to the cool down, we're going to bring it back down, the gears back down to that very light, extremely light, and then eventually sitting down again at the end, okay? Remember to try and keep those feet moving as we go through, as it's written on my t-shirt. I just want to put that in. I know, I know. It's a nice feature. Thank you. Right. Good. So, got your chair ready, all right? I was sitting and standing. If you're sitting on the chair, make sure you, you're sitting at the front. So, hip roll to the front, sitting nice and upright. Whether you're sitting or standing, engage in those core muscles, pull that tummy towards you, and we're going to have a little bit of march of those feet. So, you're either pedaling through the feet or just having a little bit of march on the spot. So, for the warm up, remember, take it nice and comfortably at your own comfortable pace. Just do what is right for you. It should be lovely and easy to begin with. Get a little bit of movement for those feet. Very good. And we'll have some little toe taps out in front. I'm going to pop up from the chair every now and again just to see what my feet are doing, but you can clearly see what Jodie's doing. Some little taps out to the front. Keep the movements lovely and small to begin with. Give yourself plenty of scope to work up to that sort of somewhat hard level, so take it all at your own comfortable pace. Very good, and we're going to do two more, and we're going to go back to our march again, so back to marching those feet, or just having a pedal through those feet. And we're going to do out in front again, but this time we're going to do some heel digs, so heel digging out in front. So the toes stay off the floor, and the heels go down to the floor this time. And you're probably putting a little bit of a stretch down the back of those legs. Remember, it should be a little bit of tension, should it be painful at all as we do this. Remember to take it at your own comfortable pace and at your range of movement. Do what is right for you. Very 
Good, and we're going to do four more. So, four, three, two, one, and back to your march again. And then we're going to move out to the side. So taking the toes out to the side. Remember, comfortable range of movement. If it's painful in your hips, just stick with your walk. Just taking those toes out to the side. Reduce that range of movement, just little taps if you need to. Just mobilizing those joints, preparing the body for the activity. Good, keep one toe tapping to the side, and if you want to challenge yourself, all right, you can get one toe to do a little tap out in front. So one taps out in front and one taps to the side, but feel free just to do the taps to the side if you want to. This is just to confuse you and entertain the other people in your household. And we'll change those feet around, so the other one's tapping out to the side, and the other one's tapping out in front. Feel free to have a mark of your feet in between just to allow your brain to reset before you try and do the other side. And then we'll go back to our march. Very good. Back to the march again. And we can just allow one or both of our arms to swing down by your side. If you need to keep one hand in contact with the chair, then do so. Just for a little bit of support as we go through the exercise. And we'll do some little knee raises. So if you're doing the seated version, just very small raise of those knees. If you find that's too much in your hips, you can go back to the heel digs out in front. If you're standing, remember, use that chair for support if you need to. No shame in using it. Good. And let's go back to that march again. Giving that arm a swing if you feel comfortable to. Leave the arms out if you need to. Find you're breathing up a bit too much. Very good. Let's go back to those heel digs out in front. So heel digging out in front. And as we heel dig out, let's try and do the opposite arm with that bicep curl. So opposite arm, opposite leg. If you can, you can do same arm, same leg if you find it easier. As I say, it's a little bit of a challenge. The more we challenge the body, the better it becomes. Good. Remember, if you find yourself getting a bit breathless at this point, all right, just leave the arms out and just do the legs. Remember to keep yourself in your comfortable limits. Do what is right for you. And again, we're going to go back to that march. Give that arm a bit of a swing, picking up that pace a little bit more if you're feeling comfortable. And back to the toe taps out to the side. So toe tapping out to the side. You can make those movements a little bit bigger if you're feeling comfortable too. But remember, if it's painful in your hips, you can go back to your walk or just reduce that range of movement down and you get the arm to correspond with your leg. The same arm, same leg. Excellent. And let's go back to that march. Very good. Lead a bit quicker now if you can. Very good. And we'll just slow that pace down, give those arms a bit of a shake out. And we're going to roll those shoulders back. So you can do one arm at a time or both arms together, depending on if you need to keep contact with that chair. So four shoulder rolls on each side, we'll be doing together or one at a time. Just loosen up those shoulders a little bit. Good. And give those arms a bit of a shake out. Fantastic. Excellent. All right. Let's take those feet out a little bit wider. Just keep pedaling through those feet. And we're going to take one arm outside. We're going to imagine a ball by our side. We're just going to bounce that ball by our side. 
Good. We're going to press the palm up towards the ceiling. We're going to bounce the ball up towards the ceiling. And we're going to bounce that ball forwards. And we're going to press the palm behind. And we're going to bounce that ball backwards. Just watch out for those chests. All right. A little bit of stretch should be painful at all. And relax that arm down. You should be very well. You've got the shoulder on that side. And we do the same with the other arm. So arm out to the side. Bounce that ball forwards. Just remember to keep those feet moving as you do this one. Good. Bounce the ball backwards. Bounce the ball down. And palm up towards the ceiling. Bounce the ball up. Good. And relax those arms down. Very good. Another proper pedal for those feet. Good. Walking those feet out to the side again. Keep those toes moving away. We're going to reach down to one side. If you're doing the seat version, hold on to the side of the chair. Just so you don't fall off the side. Stay on that same side. We're just going to do a couple more. Last one. And then we're going to do three on the other side. So reaching down and back up. Two and three. Very good. And then we're going to do those feet. Excellent. I'm just going to turn to the side, all right? So use that chair. If you're standing, you can do some toe taps behind. And if you're seated, you can do some heel digs out in front. So we're able to stretch the calf muscles. So if you heel dig out in front, as you'll see to right, pull those toes up, stick your bum out, feel that stretch just down in the bottom part. If you're doing the standing version, taking the toe back, push the heel down to the floor and step back in. Remember, it should be a little bit of tension in those legs, but it shouldn't be painful at all. If it is, just reduce that range of movement. Don't do too much of a stretch with it. To prepare those muscles for the activity. Good. One more on each side for me. Excellent. And back to your walk again. Very good. All right, to pick up that pace, we've got a couple more minutes, and we're going to start the hard work. Good. Let's go back to those heel digs out in front. So heel digging out. A little bit quicker than before. We can bring those bicep curls in then. So you can do opposite arm, opposite leg, or same arm, same leg. I don't mind. And again, if you want to challenge your brain a little bit more, we can get one of those toes to tap out to the side. Just remember to do what is right for you and at your comfortable pace. Excellent, back to you much again. Good swing of those arms if you're feeling comfortable. And we'll just finish off with a few of those marching sprints. So marching those feet, when I count through, we can sprint those feet. One, two, three, spinning those feet. Very good, back to your march again. And one, two, three, spin those feet. And back to your march. Just do one more. One, two, three, spin those feet. And back to your march. Fantastic. Well, done, everyone. So I hope you're feeling a little bit warmer, catching your breath slightly, maybe. So make sure you just maintain a good upright posture. If you're doing the seated version, sitting at the front of that seat as we move on to the main phase of the exercise, grab yourself a drink of water if you need to. So make sure you've got your equipment nearby. And we'll start with those heel digs out in front, okay? So we'll do those heel digs out in front. And I'm going to change things up just to irritate you slightly, as I know you love it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a heel, heel, then we do a tap to the side, side, and stomp, stomp. Okay, so heel, heel, tap to the side, tap to the side, stomp those feet. Very good. Heel, heel, tap to the side, to the side, and a double stomp. Excellent, keep going. Remember, take it at your comfortable pace. And if you're finding that lovely and easy, you can just get those arms to correspond with those legs, okay? So out, out, to the side, to the side, and stop those feet, very good.
Next, the bottleneck one. Last one. Stop those feet. Very good. All right, keep those feet moving. We're going to go to our first active recovery. Remember, if you don't feel stable doing it or standing, follow Jody for the seated version. We're going to do the upper back strengthener, okay? So, both weights, we're going to pull in towards our tummy button, keeping the elbows tucked inside. Imagine you're opening in that newspaper, back to the middle, and back out the front again. Very good. So, nice, slow, controlled movements. Three seconds in and three seconds out again. So build that tension across the upper part of the back, just as you open those weights up like you're opening that newspaper. Nice upright posture, maintain your breathing and keep those feet moving. Good, over halfway through, doing really well. So if you feel that tension, any point you feel it's a bit too much, just pop those weights to one side, continue with the movement without the weights. You'll probably still feel it working a little bit as you do it. Very good. Last one. Excellent. Very good. Pop those weights down to one side. And we're going to march those feet. And we're going to go into our marching sprints. So marching those feet away. And the count of three, we're going to sprint those feet as we before. A little bit faster if you can. So allow one or both of those arms to swing down by your side. And one, two, three, sprinting those feet. Very good. And back to your march again. Just remember to check yourself on that board scale. So if you've got the scale in there in the patient book that's in front of you, or if you can see the one behind us, just making sure you're between that light to somewhat hard. And one, two, three, split in those feet. Good. And back to you, March again. So we've got time just for one more, just as a treat. And one, two, three, split in those feet. Good, and back to your march again. Very good, you need your weights. We're going on to do our chest press again, all right? So, weights up by your chest, near your armpits, keep those feet moving away, and we're gonna push out the front, and we're gonna relax to the middle again, okay? So push it out, and then come to the midline of the body. Remember, nice upright posture, keeping those feet wiggling as we go. It might find a little bit too much in your shoulders. If you do, then obviously just leave the weights out. You can just do it without the weights. Or just keep those feet pedaling away until we finish this minute. We're halfway through. Doing well. Excellent. Well done. A couple more. Last one. Very good, pop those weights down to one side. Have a little wiggle of those feet, give yourself a bit of a shake out if you need to. We're gonna do some toe taps out in front. So toe tapping out in front, you can take the feet out to the corners if you like. And if you find that nice and comfortable, you can have some little punches to let you tap out. You can have a little punch out in front if you wish to. For those of you who are seated, if you're needing to take a moment just to rest for a second, then you can slouch back in the chair, but just make sure you keep those feet moving. It's very important. And then when you're ready, roll forward and come back into that working position. Taking it all at your own pace. Very good, everyone. Keep going. We've got a few more seconds to go. Very good, and back to your march again. Here we're gonna go into a little exercise for the legs. We're gonna do our calf raises, okay? So if you're standing, use your chair for support, and you're gonna go up onto your toes, and then back down again. If you're doing a seated version, obviously just pushing those toes to the floor, raising those heels up, and then back down. Pop your hands and your legs, give yourself a little bit of resistance to it. It doesn't matter if you can't go up onto your toes, all right? As long as you're engaging those muscles, you'll still get the benefits for it. If you see it, just remember to have a really good posture as well. So sitting tall and straight, sucking those tummy muscles in a little bit just to add, add, engage those core muscles. And you want a little bit of a break, just have a little pedal through those feet. And then when you're ready, you can then continue on with a few more repetitions. You're feeling up to it. Doing very well. Absolutely. A couple more. 
Last one. And back to your walk again. Very good. Well done, everyone. And we're going to do those little knee raises. So if you're standing, you use that chair for support, bring those knees up as we did before. If you're doing a seated version, just a tiny raise of those knees, touching lightly onto those opposite knees as they come out. Or you can just do those heel digs out in front if you find that easier if it's a bit too much in your hips. Good. Remember to keep it at your own pace. Have a think about that ball scale again. Are you able to talk? Are you getting a bit too breathless while doing it? If you are, then slow that pace down, reduce that range of movement. If you find things not being easy, then you can start to pick things up a bit more. Don't forget to have a drink as well. Really important to keep hydrated throughout. You have been told. Excellent. Last few seconds, everyone. Very good, and back to your walk again. Next active recovery is going to be our lateral arm raise. So Jody's favorite Batman impression, all right, taking the arms slowly out to the side, no hiding your shoulders, and then back down again. Keep those feet wiggling away. Nice upright posture, maintain that breathing as we do it. Slowly up and stay back down. Remember the shoulders, small muscles, we will fatigue quite quickly. So if you find it's too much in your shoulders, just pop the weights to one side, continue with the movement without the weights, or just have a march to those feet until the end of the minute. We're over halfway through this minute now, doing really well. We've got two more exercises to do after this, and then we're going to go into that cool down. Very good. Last one. And relax back down. Very good. Pop those weights down to one side again. You can really feel that working on your shoulders. Keep your arms a bit of a shake out. Have a pedal of those feet. And we're going to go to everyone's favorite exercise, the box step. All right, support those feet out slightly. Step into the corners of your box, the forwards, forwards, and back, back again. Making those boxes as big or as small as you want to, depending on how you're feeling today. And if you find it nice and easy, you can bring one arm in, so out and in, and out and in. And you're finding it lovely and easy, and you feel able and stable enough to, you can bring both arms in, set out, out, in, in. Remember, take it at your comfortable pace, though. Making those boxes bigger and small. If you find you're getting a bit out of breath doing it, leave the arms out, you can just do the feet. If you're starting to tire on one knee leg as well, then just switch your direction of the box. Good, I think we'll just do a couple more. So, last one, very good. And back to your walk again. Very good, last out of current exercise is gonna be our bicep curl, all right? So grab your weights or your bottles again, tuck the elbows into the side, isolating this bicep muscle. And you can do them both at the same time or one at a time, you can alternate between the two, up, and then slowly back down again. Slowly up and slowly back down. So this is your last exercise today before we go into that cool down. We're going to continue with the cool down five minutes if you're doing the standing version, um, continuing to stand, and then we're all going to come to a seated version. Very good. Keep going, a couple more repetitions for me, slowly up and back down. Last one. Very good. Pop those weights down to one side. Well done, everyone. That is the conditioning phase of your workout complete. Well done. Grab yourself a drink, remember. Have a slurp of water. And then we're going to go into that cool down. Remember to keep those feet moving. It's very important we don't suddenly stop doing our exercise. So we're going to run for those movements again. This time we're going to leave the arms out. All right. So you can use that back of the chair if you need to. If you want to go to a seated version, then just follow Jody for the cool down. We're all going to come seated in about five minutes anyway. Um, but if you're finding it a little bit tiring now, okay, then feel free to follow Jodie. And we'll go for a simple heel dig out front again for me. So slowing everything down, leaving the arms out of the movements. Coming down to your comfortable pace. Reducing those heart rates slowly, bringing that breathing down nice and comfortably over the next few minutes. Good, let's go into some toe taps. The toes down to the floor now, heels off the floor. Good, 
Excellent. And back to your walk again. A nice gentle walk of those feet. You can even keep your toes in contact with the floor. Just pedal through those heels, depending on how you're feeling. Sometimes easier to do that when you're doing the seated version. And we're going to go some toe taps out to the side. So remember, leave them out there for a second before you bring them back in. So toe tap out and then back in. And slow that movement down a little bit more. So leave it up there for a little bit longer. Good. And back to your walk again. Nice, gentle walk of those feet. Let's do a few of those knee raising. Doing the standard version, use the back of the chair. We're going to slowly bring those knees up and slowly back down. Remember, one knee at a time. Still a hilarious joke. Every time. Every time. <laughs> you stop laughing at it, I'll stop telling it. I can't help it. <laughs> it's become a reflex. <laughs> Remember, you're doing the seated version, just very, very small movements, all right? Don't bring those knees up too high. Let's go back to that walk again. A little bit of movement of those feet. So hopefully you find your breathing is just coming back down to normal now. You're finding everything a lot more comfortable. Excellent. All right. So we go back to our heel digs out the front. Again, we're going to leave them out there for a second. And we'll do the other foot. But then we're going to do a toe tap. Toe tap. And toe tap. So alternated between the two. So heel heel, toe, and toe, heel, heel, toe, and toe, very good, one more, heel, heel, toe, toe, very good, all right, back to the walk again, and let's do some more mobilization of those shoulders, so roll in that shoulder back, or shoulders, Four on one side, four on the other, or four together, and let's have a little march to those feet. Excellent. All right, with one of your hands, you're going to make a little bit of a bigger rotation, okay? So taking the arm out to the side, and then back down. And again, out to the side, and back down. Got a little bit of a stretch in the chest as you do this, and we take the arm out to the side. We're going to hold it there. We're going to take the elbow back and place the palm of the hand onto the back of the head. Take the arm out to the side again. We're going to place the back of the hand onto the mid back. Okay, and relax down. Give that arm a shake out one more time on that side. So taking the hand out to the side, pull the elbow back, hand onto the back of the head if you can, and then back of the hand places onto the mid back or as far up as you can reach. And relax down. Give that arm a shake out. Same with the other side. So, big movement out, pull it back slightly, and then relax. Second time, and relax. Third time, bring it out to the side, take the elbow back, hand to the back of the head, palm of the hand, out to the side, back of the hand to the mid back, and relax down, give the arm a shake out. One more time, hand out, pull the elbow back, palm of the hand to the back of the head, out to the side, back of the hand to the lower back or the mid back, depending on where you can reach. Take it down and shake out. Very good. Well done, everyone. Excellent. All right. Hopefully, you're feeling things a lot more comfortable now. If you're still standing at this point, well done. But you can come to the seated versions. Just make sure you've got both to the side so you're not sitting on any weights. They're pretty uncomfortable the rest of the times. All right, so remember if you have just seated, not sitting like slumped in the chair, hip rolls to the front, good posture, just like Jodie's got. Okay, keeping those toes tapping nice and gently. And we're just going to do a couple of strengthening exercises. We're going to do some straight leg raises, all right? So we're going to heel dip one of our feet out in front. 
Good, sitting nice and upright in your chair, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna raise the foot up and then relax back down. We're gonna do eight repetitions, do as many as you can. Remember, it's not about how, how high you can get your leg, it's just raising that leg up, you'll feel that tension occur just down the front of your leg here. And do as many repetitions as you feel comfortable with, and remember to keep breathing the whole time. You can count along with us as we do them. So, a simple raise, and then back down. Okay, so we're gonna do eight repetitions. All right, so with us, off we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Very good, and relax there, have a look at that fit. So hopefully you can feel that tension just down the front of that leg there, okay, as we do this. Switching over to the other leg, heel dig the other leg out, sitting nice and upright again. All right, so remember not to fall back in the chair, all right, sitting nice and upright, and again, we're gonna go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Excellent, have a look at that, those feet, good. So this is your quadriceps, all right? Really important when it comes to uh, walking upstairs, getting out of a chair, or just generally walking, to be honest with you. Uh, really big, powerful muscles. It's important to keep these nice and strong, okay? We're gonna do one more set of those, all right, if you're feeling up to it. So remember, just do as many repetitions as you can, you feel comfortable with. Popping that hand onto that supporting leg. Ease the other leg out in front, nice and straight out in front. Sit nice and upright in your chair. So remember, don't lean back in the chair, stay nice and upright, just bring that foot up. Even if you can't get the foot off the floor, you'll still be engaging those muscles. So off we go. Eight repetitions again with us. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Excellent work. Well done. Have a look at those feet. Last ones. So again, eight repetitions if you can, just do as many as you feel comfortable with. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Excellent, well done, let's look at that. Good, we'll just finish off with a few stretches then, okay? So remember, sit nice and right in your chair, bring those fingers out front, interlink them out front, pushing out. We're going to stretch across the top of the upper back. Just keep those toes just gently pedaling away for us. Those of you that have had surgery, just keeping your own comfortable limit to this one. Excellent. Relax those arms down. Give those shoulders a bit of a roll out. We're going to take the hands towards the back of the chair. Grip the back of the chair, pushing out the front. We're going to stretch across that chest. Good, have a soft cross those arms just a few times in front just to ease that off. Good, grip the side of the chair again. All right, we're gonna do some of those side bends, so reaching down to one side, back up to the middle. We're gonna go over to the other side now, okay, reaching down to the other side, so remember to switch those hands around in the chair. Do one more on each side. Good, and as we go over to the first side, we're just gonna hold it there, so reach down, imagine that biscuit is just a little bit out of reach, reach it down to try and grab it. Might be some delicious chocolate cover, maybe. Ooh. And back up to the middle. No brands mentioned. Reach down to the other side. Reach around to grab that TV remote just out of reach. Good. And he's back in. Very good. Give yourself a bit of a shake out. Good. Let's do a few leg stretches. All right. So he'll dig that front, front foot, that foot out in front. Toes pointing forward, sitting nice, nice and upright. And just gonna lean forwards from the hips, all right? Feel that stretch in the upper part of the rear of that thigh there. Feel that stretch up there, hold that position. Again, it should be a bit of tension, should be painful at all. Feel quite nice. Excellent, ease back, all right? We're gonna bring the toes up towards the ceiling this time. Feel that stretch move down into the lower part of the leg of the calf, sit nice and upright in the chair. If you don't feel it, you can have a little lean forwards, but I'm pretty sure you'll feel it just by sitting nice and upright in the chair. Bring those toes to your nose. 
and relax back in. Very good. Wiggle at those feet. Same with the other leg. So heel dig out, toes pointing forward to bring you with. Sit nice and upright in your chair. Have a flex forward. Feel that stretch increase up the back of the leg in that hamstring muscle. Hold that position. Good. Come back to normal seat position. Pull the toes up towards the ceiling. Sit nice and upright. You feel that stretch just down there in your calf. And again, you can flex forwards. If you don't feel that stretch, you want to increase it slightly. Trying to get those toes to your nose. Very good. And relax out. Have a look at those feet. Good. Ease back in your chair. You can have a relax at the back of the chair. That is your session complete for today. Well done, everyone. Well done. Brilliant. So um, these sessions won't disappear, so you feel free to access them again, just making sure that you leave a day in between um, to, to rest and recuperate a little bit. Um, we are always available as well. I know we've mentioned it after each session, but just remember that you can contact us on our, on our um, number that you have within our um, patient booklets. Um, there's always a nurse on triage um, throughout the week, um, and obviously if you've got any queries um, to do with the actual exercise, and then Matt's available to, to take any queries. We are making our way around the, the, the list and obviously trying to, to do that as, as quickly as we can. But if, if then rather than waiting for us to contact you, if you have got any queries or even any concerns, then please don't be afraid to give us a call. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Right, we'll be back on Friday. Well, obviously, if you want to do another session in between, as Jamie says, this video will be on here. But leave that day to recover in between. Okay, but we'll be back on Friday for another session. Well done, everyone. Congratulations. Well, well done. See you all Friday. Take care.